this is La Grania, no siesta, and as it says, it's a dice game. So I'm going to run through this, just a quick solo game, I won't do the whole game, uh, because you've really got to kind of work a strategy and think about things, which obviously I'm not good at at the best of times. So let me show you the setup for a solo game. Okay, quick run through of what we've got here. Siesta board is here and you get markers that go on the siesta board. The first person to reach the last um, space triggers the end of the game and you calculate your points to see who wins. Uh, this is a kind of market board. You can only get one person in each space. So when each when a space is gone, it's gone. And they get you extra points for various things on your board. Uh, this is your kind of resources board. When you get a resource, you put your marker on there and then you transfer that and you write it on your sheet here. You can get workers to help you. And these are the six workers that you can get that can go in these spaces. And we've got dice, roof tiles and markers. This little pad is for marking your scores on. They even give you a whole four. I'm sure they stole these from the bookies. I'm pretty sure of it. That's the only other place I've seen these tiny dinky pencils. Bookies. Anyway. You use said bookie pencil to mark your resources on your sheet. You get a whole pad of these in it anyway and they're double sided so there's loads and loads of them. I've been practicing just writing on it and then erasing it. So it does erase if you need to erase it. And the idea being you get your resources, you put them on there, then you mark them on your sheet. You want to mark them on the sheet in such a way though that you can get the maximum amount of points because that's what it's all about, points. So you get roof tiles at the top here and they increase in points as you go up. You have to build them in order, one after the other. These are for shipping overseas and these are three of a kind. It's tricky to get three of a kind but you can do it. And you get a commodity which is this one here for each of these that you send abroad. Commodity goes here and you can exchange it for something else. Your workers, you can build these in any order. Again, you know, this one's harder to build, but it gets you more points. These ones here, you, again, you must get these resources in order, left to right, to get the points here. Bigger number, that's the points that the first person gets for that. Anybody else gets that market stall, they get the smaller value. So you want to be first to get the the most points and you need a donkey to take it to market so you've got to get your donkey and all those in order to get those points so it's kind of tricky and again you get a commodity at the end uh, getting a market and the commodity lets you put one of your markers on the board up there at the market so you get three there and they get more points as they get harder over here is your kind of kind of your warehouse if you like where you can just put three of a kind or sorry three of different kinds two a couple of animals so you've got a little farm going on here and again you get points for all of these things so that is the basics so let's get it set up right setup is easy enough for a solo player uh, what you see here that's it that's what you need just what we see here and we take seven dice go here check we need four colored discs for us we're going to use yellow and we need four for what they call the neutral player which is we're going to go green for the neutral player we're going to go yellow uh what we're going to do is put a marker for the neutral player on the siesta board and one for us so we are all at the very beginning there are some bonuses you get as you work up the siesta board right next thing uh, we need to shuffle the 24 roof tiles which i've done here just shuffle them up 
and put them in little bundles. The roof tiles are kind of bonuses that you can get, like a, an extra point there. And this one is a hat to help you get through the siesta board there. There's 24, as I say, and what you do is you take six and we are going to put them to the side of the board. These are the six tiles that we can potentially place across here. The other 18 are basically a timer. Every round we discard one. No roof tiles left, game over. Simple as that. Right, to start things off, we roll one dice. And we get a donkey. Right, the donkey in the book means that the of all the things to get, it means that the neutral player is awarded this market stall first. So of all the things to get, he manages to get nine points. That's just great. So the neutral player gets nine points right away to start the game. Great. And we mark, because he's got a market stall, we need to mark it on the board here. Donkey icon, so he gets this one here, which has got the donkey icon. Right, so that is it set up, and we're ready to go. Right, round one is slightly different for the rest of the rounds in the game. What you do is you take two dice, and you just put them aside. We're not going to use them at the moment, we're just going to use this five dice. And first thing we do is take one of our roof tiles and put it aside. That's round one. So that's all that means. We roll the five dice. And we have these results. A pig, a donkey, two hats. And this one gets you uh, wheat and olives. So we have to pick one of these dice for us and one for the neutral player so if I take a hat then I could advance so I think I will take a hat and I will mark it on there the hat to the neutral player I think I will give I'll give him the pig let's see so we'll give him the pig Right, what we do now is we take the three dice that we have left and we roll them again. And I have a hat, a pig and uh, berries. Now, if the neutral player gets a hat, he will not move on the, the siesta board. So I'm going to give him the hat to try and stop him moving. And this is where you've got to use a bit of tactics and stuff. Uh, but I'm going to take, uh, let's see. I'll take the berries. And the last dice, we roll it again. And whatever it is, we keep it. So we keep this one, which is silver. So I have, well, I've forgotten to mark most of them up right enough. But I have the hat, I have the berries, and I have silver. So they're now marked up there. You need to transfer these to here, and this is where you've got to decide what you want to do with these things. The hat, yes, I can use it to advance on the siesta board, but I can also use it here as part of getting a worker. So uh, they do different things, but in this case, I'm going to use the hat to advance one. Uh, the coin. I will use in building a roof, I think. So I'll just scribble that in. And the berry, uh, not a lot I can do with it just now, really, but I will put it here in making a worker. So that's that done. Now, neutral AI, his dice go there. Uh, I should have mentioned that, actually. If he has a hat, he does not move. So he has a hat, so he doesn't move. So that's good. That works in our favour. These two dice now move up to here. 
And again, this is where we're going to be wary. So the two dice that we took away, they are now going to come into play. And effectively that's the end of uh, round one. That is it for round one. Round two is slightly different. And all the other rounds after two are the same as two. Round two. Round two, same idea. We take a roof tile, put it aside. We're in round two. And we take the five dice. Again, we give them a roll. And we have two coins, a hat, a donkey, and a pig. So, what will I pick? Now, normally I would think, oh, I'll take a hat because the hat will let me advance. But this is where it gets tricky because if we pick a dice that matches any of his two dice, he will advance. So if I take a hat or a pig, he's going to automatically advance. So I don't really want to take a, a hat or a pig if possible. Um, what I will take, I think, is a coin so that I can get that worker. And I think we'll give him the other coin so he can have the other coin. Right. And again, same idea. Take the three dice, roll them, see what we get. We have coin, pig, hat. Um... I think I'm going to give him the hat because it will stop him moving. And I think I'll take the other... Oh, do I want the other coin? Um, do I want the other coin or do I want to... I'm going to take the pig because that will help make this complete. No cub finally complete, but it helps. And the last one, if this came up in olive, it would be perfect. And it comes up in another pig. So I have a coin and two pigs. Right, now, do any of our dice match his top dice? No, they don't. We Well, sorry, they do. We've got two pigs, unfortunately. Ah, oh, see, this is why you need to think, and I don't. So we have a, a match on one of his two top dice. Not these ones. Doesn't matter, it's got to be these top ones. So he advances automatically. Boom. So I can now take them off. And those move up. Um, we need to mark it up. So we get a coin. And we get two pigs. So I'll put a pig here. And we'll say one here. Just for the hell of it. So that's them marked up. Right. Uh, this is now complete. So I can now take one of these and reveal it. It's a donkey. At any point in the scoring, I can cash that in to get a donkey. I'll leave it for just now though. Don't need a donkey. Not yet. Not quite yet. Uh, but... And in case you hear things going off in the background, that's fireworks. Uh, but that is it for that round, I believe. Again, he had a hat, so he doesn't move. So all good there. So, yeah, that is it for two. Let's move on to round three. Round three. So, again, ditch one of those roof tiles. We have five dice. Oops, we have three hats and two coins, so uh, I guess we'll be taking a coin. <laughs> we'll take a coin, because I don't really want a hat, because, again, it would make him advance. Um, but I do want to give him a hat to stop him advancing. And that's that bit, and with all the three dice that are left, we have a couple of grains and a donkey. I think I will take one of the grains. Because that's a double, you get both olive and wheat on that one dice. So that takes up 
to those two. And this one's left for whoever's at the end. Uh, I think we'll give him one as well. And the last dice is a coin. So I have another coin. So, again, uh, do I have any coin, uh, any matches to his top two? Yes, I do, the coins. So, he advances. Damn it. Curse him. Right. So that's that bit done. Do we then have... No, tell a lie, we need to mark these up. I have two coins, so again... I can mark them in there. Gives me another roof. And the olive and the wheat. I could I could use them down here to start filling up this market cart. So we'll do that. That's those two done. And I get another roof tile from here. Ooh, this one you can move two items one space left or right or you can move one item two spaces left or right but not into the heart of the commodity not in there stops at that line so that's pretty handy uh let's see multiple score sheets and he has a hat so that would stop him advancing any further so I can take them off and I can move them up. Let's see, what else? Uh, blah, 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 blah. And yeah, that's it. We're pretty much finished for round three. And I should just briefly mention that on this side, I don't know if you'll see it, is the olive, wheat, berries, and the pig and the donkey. So... If you get one each of those, that gets you a point. And one each of those gets you a point. So you can start filling these up, these up. It's all very confusing. I never know what to fill up first. It's crazy. Um, where it comes into play with the whole idea of strategy is I marked, and I've just noticed it, the olive in there. I could have just marked the olive in there and got a worker. So... I kind of missed that one. Missed, this, missed, my, missed my point there. Missed my chance. Uh, hopefully I'll get another chance. Anyway, that's the end of round three. And into round four. Another tile. And more rolling of dices. We have two pigs, two hats, and a berry. Hmm. Okay, I don't really want a hat or any olive and wheat, so I don't really want a hat to force him to move again, so I don't really want one of those. Pig, uh, not really, but I could still use it to get a worker. You can get a worker here. These first two workers, you don't get any points for them though. Um, but I may just take that one anyway. Uh, let's see, we'll take, uh, as I say, I'm not really playing this with well, a full strategy, I'm just making this up completely off the cuff. Uh, so we'll take the pig. We'll take the pig and we will give him a hat again to stop him moving. And we will roll. Two coins and a hat. So I will take a coin, I think and give him a coin that seems fair and the last one is is a hat that's just great oh right okay so either way probably the neutral player is going to move twice now damn it <laughs> damn him to hell right so we've done more bits and bobs and we then need to mark it up. So I've got a coin, a pig, and a hat. So I'm going to put the pig here. May as well. I'll put the coin up the top. Uh, 
Uh, in fact, I could uh, in fact I'll put the coin here to help and get another worker. And the hat, uh, yeah, I'll use the hat to move. Now, again, do we have a duplicate? Yes, we do. So he's going to advance. Uh, I should add, in fact, I need to remember to come back to this. In fact, I'll do just now. Uh, when you move into this spot here, you see the wee dots, and then it goes up to the disc with a plus. That means that I now get another disc. So I now have five. Um, neutral player doesn't really matter if he gets extra. Uh, let's see. Got that. So I've done a duplicate thing. He has a hat, so he won't move. So that worked too okay. Worked out not too bad in the end. So I've now got five because this is pretty handy. Sometimes what can happen is when you've only got four, um, you can get, say, um, olive and wheat is one dice. Then you can get a coin, which would be your third. And then you can get olive and wheat again. And you can then only have one of the two because you've only got four markers and you've used one, two, three. You then get olive and wheat again. You don't have the extra two markers. I do now. Oh, yes. Right. I don't really have anything that I can get from that. No good bonuses. Nothing. So, that is pretty much uh, the end of that round. That is the end of round four. So, let's move on. And round five. And again. Oops. Let's take away a roof tile. And we can then roll a dice. Whoa, 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 dice everywhere. Right, here we go. Two silver, uh, the wheat and the olives, donkey or a pig. Uh, don't really want a coin. Uh, so it'd be better with one of those two. I'm going to go for the wheat and the olives. And we will give him a coin. Right. And now we have hat, pig, and donkey. Uh, I would like to have a hat, but he already has a hat at the top, so that would cause him to move. I think I'll take a donkey. What the hell? Take a donkey. And we'll give him a hat to stop him moving. Last one. I'm getting a coin. Ah, oh, rubbish. Right. So done that. Do we have a duplicate? Yes, we do. The coin. So he advances. We can take them off. He has a hat, so he won't advance again, which is good. Uh, I have a donkey, which I think I'll use here. I have a coin, which I'll use there, I think. Uh, olive and wheat, if I use the olive in there, and the wheat in there, I've now got two workers. So I can choose any one of these two. Put one in there and one in there. Uh, I'm going to go for this one. Uh, this one is for the market stalls here. Normally you need a donkey or two donkeys or three donkeys here. This one means you don't need any donkeys. So that saves me if I get any of those, don't need a donkey. Good. Uh, let's see. And I'll take this one. This one is if you complete the three here or the two here then you get one silver that you can use up here so it's quite handy if you start decide that your strategy is going to be to fill these uh, if your strategy was to use um say to get three of a kind then that would be your best bet because then you'll get extras 
Um, let's see. Anything else that I can get there? Nope. All good. Right. And I believe... I believe that's the end of round five. Yep. That's us for round five. Round six. Uh, as I say, I'll finish this video soon. I won't go through the whole thing because it would be about 18 turns, as I say, feeling that. Uh, you'll just see me get absolutely whooped at something else on video. Um, let's see. We need to draw the roof tile. Done that. Roll the dice. Two hats, the grain, uh, berries, and the pig. Um, I'm going to take the wheat and olives, and he can have a hat. That'll keep him quiet for a bit. And we then have pig, the wheat again, or a hat. Uh, hat would be nice, but it would cause him to move again. Um, I think, hmm, I could take the, the wheat again. That might come in handy. Let me see. Yeah, because I can get another two workers with that. I think. Yeah. So we're going to take that again. So we get same idea. And he can have the pig. What the hell? Roll again. Last one. What is a pig anyway? Oh well. So, pig it is. Right. Duplicates? Nope. No duplicates. So that's good. He's got a hat so he doesn't advance. Uh, pig. Let's see. Where to put a pig? I already got a pig there. I've got a pig there. I could put a pig. I'll put a pig down here just to be different. And let's see. I've got a wheat that I can use there. And all of that I can use there. If, I was kind of hoping for a berry for that one to advance this a bit, but that's not happening. Uh, let's see. So what I'll do is just put them down here. On there. One there. Lovely. Done. Right. Uh, we can then have another two of these. So I will go for this one, which lets you move one, a one-time use where you can move a disc left or right. And we'll go for this one, which gets you a berry, an olive, or a wheat, if you ship off one of these uh, three of a kind. Right, uh, I believe that is it. He doesn't get to move. We don't have any doubles. So the neutral player is kind of stuck there, which is good. Um, as I say, I'll probably end this after the next turn, but I just want to explain that when this guy gets up to here, and he reaches this cart, what you do is, he gets the next highest value cart for the points. So in this case, he would get seven. You, and you roll a dice, and again, same idea as a start. Whatever the, the icon is in the dice, he gets one of these in the market. So you're kind of trying to not let him get to the, the markets there. And we are trying to get to these pluses to get extra discs so that we can get more stuff more good stuff um hopefully i'll get a commodity or something like that soon and that way i can show you that and uh, maybe show you a three of a kind but uh, usually the three of a kind you're using a commodity or you shift something left or right to get it so anyway enough waffle that is the end of round six let's do round seven Right, let's uh, let's end with round seven. And again, tile, roll dice, whoa, whoa, dice. Uh, we have three lots of grain, a pig, and a donkey. So 
So I don't really want the pig. Um, I've really not been very good at getting berries. Um, going to go for another uh, wheat and olive, we'll say. And he can have same idea. Roll again. Berry, finally. Right, I want the berry. Take berry. And he can have... Yeah, he can have the wheat again. And I get silver. So, that's a pretty good mix. Right. Uh, the berry... I shall put on here the wheat and the olive I will put here and the coin uh, coin 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 really is either going to be part of the roof or part of this other worker so we'll put it to the other worker what the hell right now duplicates no, we don't have any duplicates, so that's good. Unfortunately, he does not have a hat, so that means he advances. Right, so I'll end it there, but that's a quick look at La Grania No Siesta. And it's a fun little game, quick, easy, comes in a little box, good for taking travels with you. So... Let me know what you think of La Grania, no siesta.